What's up everybody, D'Angelo here, and this video is going to be on this error message right here. So some people have been hitting me up like, hey, uh, I've been getting unable to sell, unable to create sell order, and stuff like that, guys. And this is just some tips that, you know, have helped me in the last, like, not even 24 hours, but like in the last couple hours here, because, you know, I've sent, I bought another $3,000 worth of DAF. And what's been helping me is, you know, selling at a, a, lower, a lower volume. So... Like let's say five or something, right? I tried that earlier. It worked. You know, it doesn't work every single time. As you can see, I just did some a few minutes ago here. And, you know, the smaller ones work. But whenever I try to just do all of them, that doesn't work unless I'm trying to buy, you know, all of my BTC work. And right now what I'm thinking is that there's a set number of sell orders in here. So let's say the sell order limit is 1,000, right? So that means every time somebody makes a sale or whatever, or one order is completed, you know, there might have be thousands of other people trying to sell and you're just trying to get in that one slot repeatedly over and over and over. So, I mean, the best time to sell is going to be when it's green. Like right now, you're probably not going to be able to get anything when it's like just, just a straight flat surface, a flat line. Probably not going to be able to get anything, you know, and right here, most likely not going to be able to get anything either. But like right here, definitely not really not going to be able to get anything. So the best time, you know, that I've noticed, you know, when I've been selling is to sell right here. Because then, I mean, then you'll probably just be able to just click all and just dump all of your stuff to someone else. And, you know, like that's pretty much it, though. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not like it's like anything really, really significant. But I mean, it does help. Like I said, it does. It did get some of mine out. So if you only got like. 10 or 20 dab. I mean, even if you only have to sell one at a time, it'll be worth, you know, just getting them out, you know, but my thoughts on dab recovery. Now, personally, I don't think they're going to recover. Now, I'm not spreading any FUD or anything like that. And this isn't like one of them dumbass videos, like other people who call it a scam and stuff like that. Like, it has nothing to do with that. It's solely on how the business is ran. All right. So right now, the way they are running the board, it is going to crash and burn. There's no if, ands, or buts, in my opinion. Because let's say, right, let's say I didn't have um, a thousand videos in Team D'Angelo, right? And like I didn't have any videos on how to like do important stuff. People are going to start talking about that. Like, All right, dude, um, you know, well, how do I do this? And then if I don't reply to them, they're like, damn, this person doesn't reply, and they're going to go on YouTube. Right. Oh, man, well, this motherfucker, you know, you don't even show how to And then they're going to start running their mouth right repeatedly. All right. So this is how the same thing is, you know, and it's except worse, obviously, because one, we don't know who they are, which would have been fine before Big Connect went down. Now that Big Connect went down, the whole game has changed. So now, you know, people want to know they want to face. They want to see somebody. OK, so if I can go after you. If we have problems, if we have problems. I can go after you right there. I got this motherfucker right here. I can go after him if he have any problems. You know, they people want to face now. You know, people want uh, to be reinsured. You know, they want to. They want you to like. You know, post daily. They want to like to to see what's going on. You know, they want to like. They want to see what's going on. And then there's like so much stuff that's going around that they aren't addressing. Like they think like a lot of people think that um, the reason why it crashed is because uh, the Vorcoin dumped all of their coins you know so that's what a lot of people are saying and then now this uh million dollar giveaway here is like a way to get you know that last you know last money coming in and then they just take off you know so i mean at the end of the day if you're scared i recommend get your money out like you know if you're not scared you got some high risk tolerance it'd be a good time to buy um but if you are scared i would just you know get my money out that's just me i'm not telling you guys to go out and, and sell all your coins and or to buy all your to buy a whole bunch of BTC worth or anything because at the end of the day guys if this really is an exit scam I would guess that uh they'll be gone either tomorrow or Saturday I don't think they'll wait till Sunday I think they'll or even you know even tonight you never know like so my goal is to get you know my uh my couple thousand dollars worth out of here uh, before tonight or the latest tomorrow. And then if they do, you know, start getting back up there, you know, and they really do hand out this million dollars or whatever, I still think that, you know, it could go down because like, you never know if that person that they chose is an inside man, you know, you never know, um, like what's going on. Like we, that's the same. It's just a lot of unknowns, you know, and then they, like, again, they don't address anything like, um, even on their Twitter here, you know, like, you know, um, a lot of people on here are talking like really crazy, like, oh, yeah, you know, it's a exit scam and all this other stuff. Right. Like, 
at the end of the day, they're just not replying. You know, they're not talking about it. They aren't even blocking people from talking like that. They aren't getting rid of getting rid of any accounts, you know, or not. They're just like, they're just like, just don't care, you know, which is um, which is not positive at all. So at the end of the day, there's really nothing we can do about it. You know, if the Vora coin goes down, then it, it goes down. Like this, there is it's not going to last forever. Like that was never even like in my head, like that it would last forever. You know, like none of these lending platforms are going to last forever. I mean. You know, like shit, we don't even live forever. Obviously, it's not going to last forever. You know, jobs don't even last forever. Like you can work for like 39 years at a job and have two weeks before you're about to retire and the company goes under. You just spent 39 years of your life doing absolutely nothing. You know, you just wasted 39 years of your life just like that. And, you know, the average person, you know, doesn't even have $500 in their bank account. You know, so I mean, they're, they're going to be fucked. They're going to have to work again till they're like fucking 70. It's over. Their life is done. They just wasted 40 years of their life. And I mean, that could be the same thing with divorce. It's just literally the same thing, guys, you know, except a sh much shorter time span and much, much higher gains, you know, than at a job, obviously. But that's just my thoughts on it. Uh, like, again, I'm not spreading any fear, you know, or anything like that. You know, we're just... Just talking like, like I said, from a business standpoint, you know, I don't think that they will last if they continue to run it the way that they are now. Um, because I mean, it's just a lot of things that just don't make sense. Like, why not use that million dollars to buy up a million dollars worth of your own coin to make the price go up? That would make a lot of people happy. You know, why? Why not like just address these? these problems, you know, then there are like people talking about, oh, the coin is, uh, the market is by the DeVore coin and not by Big Connect coin and, and all this other stuff. So, I mean, it's just a lot of stuff that they're just not addressing and stuff. And, um, like I said, if they don't change this, this is, this is just not going to last. So again, just a quick recap. If you're trying to sell, I would try to sell when it's going up. And, you know, I wouldn't try to wait till the top. I would just, you know, just try to sell when it's going up. So if another one comes up here, I would just try to sell. And um, if it's down, again, try to get some type of money just so you can get yours. And if you have high risk tolerance, then you can buy. Um, try selling at a lower amount. So if you try to sell at a lower amount, if it still comes up, then you pretty much got to wait. And um, I think that is pretty much it, guys. But I hope this video helped you guys out. And those are just my quick thoughts on the matter. Like I said, again, I'm not spreading any FUD or anything like that. You know, this is just from a business standpoint that they just can't run it like this because of what happened with BitConnect. Now, BitConnect never went down. There, Nobody would really care if um, there was another one, right? Like, I mean, at the end of the day, we don't even know if the people who own DeVore are owned by BitConnect, you know? Like, we don't know. Like, I mean, it would make a lot of sense if you think about it. I mean, they're... Um, their, their exchange went 100% smoothly. How many of those can we really think of like offhand that went like that smooth with like one or two problems, you know? So I mean, they can be like, oh, well, you know, they had a lot of fucking experience, you know, with the other one. So they know exactly how to just transfer stuff over and make a duplicate site or whatever. Well, not an exact duplicate, but you know how everything runs on the back end. They'll know how to do that, you know, so there'll be less problems, you know? And then they're just, you know, doing the same stuff that Big Connect doing. Oh, we're going to choose... Um, this person right here, and we're going to pay each and pay them um, a commission for every single person in that country. Like that just sounds like freaking wild. Like you know, and then they're trying to do a million dollar giveaway right now. Like I said before, it's just um, it's just too much stuff. They're just it's just too much, you know, right now. Like again, like I would be trying to focus on getting my coin up before I gave a million dollars away. But I mean, at the end of the day. I'm not spreading any FUD or anything like that. You guys can take this information. You know, this is just my opinions and stuff like that. You know, but I uh, hope this guy, hope this video helped you guys out. And that's pretty much it.